We have uh, freezers that contain the frozen brain samples, as well as we have uh, here, as you see, tissue that it's fixed in formalin. When we go through experience and emotional and psychological experiences that are um, part of our lives, yes, those experiences regulate our genome and help us adapt to that emotional and psychological environment. Uh, so this is what we study here. Yes, really at the molecular level. Mental illness, as well as other neurological illnesses, are illnesses of the brain. And we need access to brain tissue in order to understand the causes of these illnesses. Yes, we cannot understand the cause of these illnesses by taking a sample, let's say, of the blood. Yes, so we need to have access to tissue. And unfortunately, we cannot have access to tissue when the individuals are alive. The brain is still uh, very poorly understood. It's a complex organ. It's an organ that it's responsible for so many things. Um, and uh, yet we understand very little how it works. And we understand very little of these illnesses that are so important in our society that affect so many people. Just having the tissue by itself, it's of very little use. Um, so we need to understand um, the, uh, exactly the problems the person had, the symptoms, the illness, uh, the characteristics of the illness, understand their life habits, understand the environment in which they lived, what they went through their lives, how these events impacted um, their lives and impacted illness. So all this information is crucial. The brain needs to be collected within 24 hours following death. The brain tissue is, is fragile and um, deteriorates, decomposes very quickly. So we need to, um, in order to have access to the brain uh, tissue in good conditions so that we can then um, study it, we uh, need to act quickly. The brain has a very strong symbolic um, value to many people, yes? Uh, so uh, some people uh, may have a harder time with the idea of donating um, an organ, let alone, you know, the brain, and whereas other people are very comfortable with that. When you make a donation, let's say, through a transplant, you help one person in particular that has a problem. When you make a donation of tissue, uh, you may not have one person in particular, but you have the potential to help society at large.